Well, my main message, particularly to a policymaker, would be, hey, you've got a lot of data in government. It's time for you to put that data out there. Let people experiment and innovate with it, and you will be amazed at what you find with the rewards from doing that. Governments usually are the largest collector of data in any, in any society or any economy. They collect large amounts of it. And historically, they've kept it all stovepiped. Each agency keeps their data. They won't share it. They won't let it out there. And really, in the last five years or so, governments have realized that's kind of a stupid strategy. We should put the data out there. We should let innovators do things with it, build on top of it, and then give real value to citizens and businesses. So there's this whole new field of data science and people getting data science degrees. Um, the U.S. leads in that, but Europe is doing quite well in, in, in that space as well, and in particular with open government data, the, actually of the G8 countries that we looked at, now G7, but a few years ago the G8 countries, including Russia, they agreed to a set of open data principles, and we analyzed those eight countries on how they're doing, and it actually turns out the U.K. is the leader. And the reason why I think Europe can do well in this space is it's a space where conscious and strategic government action can play a big role. And that's why the UK leads. They lead because they want to lead. That's really all it is. It's not like they have more scientists or computer scientists. It's just they decided this is an important priority and they made it a priority to put data sets out there, to work with developers, to do a whole set of things like that. Now the European Commission actually is developing a data innovation strategy right now. How can Europe take advantage of this? Not just to do, use data to improve transportation, logistics, environment, energy, all those things, but to build up data economy in terms of data companies that could become global leaders. That's the good side. Now, the bad side is you have proposals in some countries like France, which, you know, it's, granted it's a proposal, uh, but a, a year or so ago, uh, to tax data. Uh, so likewise, uh, you have uh, some proposals in Europe about keeping data within borders. Europe's got to get that one right. And finally, you know, you're, the privacy rules can't be so strict that you lock down everything and never let anything be analyzed or shared. There's a way to do that that respects privacy, but the risk for Europe, I believe, is they're going to lock this data down and they're going to fall behind in this next revolution in the IT space in countries like the United States. Uh, or possibly Korea uh, would, would take the lead.